All right, well, you may recognize this building from a previous video that I made. Um, I made a video called the, the, was it the Hounds of Colebrook? It was one of my haunted videos. And this building was one of the main features in that video that we stopped to look at. Um, this is an old grist mill from 1793, so quite old. Um, and I think in that video, I kind of went off on a little rant about who currently owned the building and how it wasn't being maintained. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment here again. Uh, we might actually go inside down below, I think, see the old water wheel and stuff. This building was owned by the Pennsylvania Game Commission, um, but I think it has actually changed hands now, which is a good thing. Because in that video I did, was it last year maybe, talk about the condition of this building. You can see like the roof, um, there's pieces. You know, the roof is deteriorating up there. There's actually plants growing out of it. And there was a local uh, historical society that wanted to take over the building. They wanted to turn this place into a little park, you know. They wanted to save the building and maybe get like four acres from the Game Commission um, or, or do a land swap with them. And the Game Commission wouldn't do it. But the problem is that this building was is literally in bad condition. It's like on some list of, you know, buildings, historic buildings that are at risk in Pennsylvania. You know, it's a historic building, you know, 1793, it's, it's old. Um, and the Game Commission was just doing nothing to preserve it. Because even in their own statement, you know, the, the Game Commission admits that their mission is not to protect places like this, or, you know. So, but you know, I'm going to go off on a rant here, <laughs> sorry. But I'm not a fan of the Pennsylvania Game Commission. If you watch my videos, you already know that. And it's because of stuff like this. You know, I can understand that their mission is is to uh, work with wildlife and provide hunting areas for people and stuff like that but when you own a historic building like this it is your responsibility to maintain it or to take care of it uh, and they wouldn't do that um, that's why it was started to it's like you know rotting and you know there's other damage on the other side too but you know the thing is if you don't want to maintain a building like this and there's a local society that wants to do it, take it off your hands, why not just give them the building? Say, here, take it, restore it. We're not gonna do anything with it, but they re refused to do it, you know? And then the building just continued to deteriorate. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's just stupid, you know? It's a... Anyway, I'll let that go, but I, th I think, I remember reading uh, that the building, I think somebody even told me that the building has changed hands now to another state historical society or something. So someone else owns this building now, I think. Um, somebody that's gonna preserve it like it should be preserved, so. Anyway, I'm done with that little rant. <laughs> let's walk around, look at it, and like I said, let's maybe we'll go downstairs then. I think there's an opening in the back we can squeeze into. Because the big water wheel is still down in there. But yeah, it needs to be, it needs a lot of work on it. Because you can see, you know, there's a hole right there, plants grow out in that. You can see there's plants growing out the wall, so there's water damage getting in there so that's the first thing they need to do is repair that roof and I know down in here there's a little opening but I think that leads directly into the water I think this is uh, looks like there may be an arch there at one time this is where the water came out because Whoever owns it now, they killed all this stuff. It looks like people come down in there too, so maybe we'll look at that later too. Here's the side of it. It's a cool old building. It's just really huge. And another thing has changed here too. You see that little sign up there that yellow blaze this is actually the horseshoe trail now which travels through a large section of southeast pennsylvania so that's kind of cool the trail brings right past this historic site yeah right here is another opening down there as you can see how it's all eroded and you can see how it's actually starting to break away here a little bit so that needs to be repaired but i think we'll be crawling in there later so whether that's a smart thing to do or not we're gonna check it out because the old water wheel is in there all 
Okay, so we're gonna crawl down in here and uh, check things out. I've actually been in here before. So, oh. Yep, let's turn some light on here. So, there is a little, oh, we can get upstairs that way too, but anyway, let's check things out. flashlight out here too. Oh, there's something dead down here. Check that out. Oh, whew, it stinks. Looks like a cat maybe. All right, sorry about that. Oh yeah. where I walk here. It's all kind of muddy. And it's filled with dead things too, so. All right. Whoa. You, over there you can see some of the old workings of the grist mill, some of the gears and stuff. That's cool. And over here is the, it's left the old water wheel. I'm trying to get a better look at it in here. You can kind of see the edges of it in there. I'll try and get a different view of it here. That's the middle of it there. If we look in this little cubby hole, you can actually see the edge of the water wheel in there. Because that's all filled with water too. I might feel like I'm sinking there. <laughs> Sorry, but there's cool. So this is where the water would come in, I guess. You know, and it would turn the wheel. Which would end up turning some other gears over there turning those things. That was the workings of the mill. Cool. Alright. Yeah, so it's pretty neat to see all the, uh, to see the inner workings here, what made the mill go. So. Alright. I don't know if we can get into the rest of the mill from here or not. We'll see. I'll get back to you. Here's a better look at some of the other gears and stuff that are in here. That's looking out to the other ent possible entrance. We might look in there later. Here's looking at these old, old gears again. Because that one would turn. It would turn that one. I'm not quite sure what these are. I guess there's a name for them, I guess. I'm not sure about going up inside. It's it's being used for storage and stuff, so we might just stay out of there. It doesn't look like there's anything interesting in there. Sorry about that. Well, I made it safely out of there. Um, I didn't stay down there too long, to be honest. I didn't feel terribly comfortable down there knowing that this is like all kind of collapsing here. So, anyway, uh, it is cool down there. Like I said, I'm going to stay out. I could probably have gotten into the rest of the building, but I'm not really sure. Um, anyway, it looks like it's used mostly for storage, so. It would have been cool maybe to explore the rest of it, but I'm not sure how. Um, anyway, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be in there or not. But anyway, so I did bring a little souvenir out, though, from the bottom there. I brought that skull out, ripped it off the skeleton, so. I do collect skulls and stuff. I use them for teaching and stuff, but it looks like a cat, or maybe a raccoon. If someone wants to comment on that and tell me what it is, I know some other bone people out there that like bones and dead things some people i met at the last at the centralia meetup that we had last time i remember I met several people that are into bones so if you know what that is you can go ahead and tell me but it looks like a cat or a raccoon maybe like i said so anyway um if you do decide to come yourself i'm not advising that you go down where i went um but you know i'm just saying i gotta say that so all right, but it's cool that this old place is being preserved now, as far as what I've if what I've read is correct. So I know I'm kind of hard in the game commission, but like I said, if 
if, the, if you own a building like this that's historic, it is your responsibility to maintain it, not let it just get destroyed to the point. It's funny because they say they don't have the money. It's not, it's not their mission to maintain a building like this, but they're using it for storage, first of all. So, um, And also, the thing is, this, this building is getting to the point where it's going to have to be demolished because it was getting unsafe. And to demolish a building like this costs money. So you're either going to spend money on maintaining it or you're going to spend money on demolishing it. Wouldn't it be better to spend money on maintaining it? That's just my opinion, but yeah. So it's just sad that so many of our historic buildings are on state game lands, you know, owned by an agency that doesn't care about history. So anyway, I said I was not going to talk about that anymore at the beginning. So it just bothers me, stuff like this. But like I said, this one should have a happy ending um, and be, be restored and preserved like it should be. So. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Like I said, last time I was here, I was kind of, the future of this building was kind of maybe sad, but now it looks like it'll be a happy ending for this building. So anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you around.